Is this the best game improvement iron of 2024? Let's find out. Oh, go. That looks good. These feel powerful. Oh, no. Do this 28 handicap spread. Oh, that was awful. Great shots, go strikes, drifting baby. right. Well, yeah. very baby. <laughs> <laughs> I can't say that was my best display of golfing ability. I, 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 I think that's probably a fair, fair assessment. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Hang on. That's my line. Welcome back to the channel everyone and welcome to La Hacienda on the Heathland course. We myself and Johnny, trying to steal my job, are on the first hole here, but we've got a very exciting game improvement iron in our hands. Today, we've got the Cobra Dark Speed, a little bit of a difference to Aerojet, which we're gonna talk about in a second, and go into the details via tech data and see if we can hold out from about 200 yards? Yeah. Maybe, maybe 210. So, today, we've got a six iron in our hands with the Cobra Dark Speed. Johnny, talk to me about the looks. What do you like, what don't you like? So, starting, I do really like, actually, the slightly darker finish. It's like a kind of brushed satin, and that complements this kind of chrome effect and this, I don't know, how, how would you describe this? this oh, you've texture. got away with words, so I was just this texture. Into it. It's kind of like a flowing, slightly ribbed chicane. Is it a chicane? I don't know, F1 fans amongst you can uh, figure that one out for yourselves. Mm. But yeah, it's quite unique. It's different to what we've, what else is on the market, I'd say, currently at the moment. 100%. Whether I'm completely convinced by the looks, I'm not 100% sure, but this could, again, be one that splits opinion. It's very futuristic, so it could potentially appeal to a younger audience. More traditional golfers might think there's a little bit too much going on. You've stolen all the words out of my mouth there, Johnny. I mean, I don't think it's actually as, as divided as you think. I think for game improvement irons, we've spoken about this in the past, game improvement irons aren't gonna be the best looking irons in the world. So I think what some brands are shifting to, especially in 2024, is to perhaps have them a little bit darker matte finish, a little bit cleaner yeah, than perhaps yeah, yeah. five years ago when they were just being like, red, blue, green, black, blah. Uh, that wasn't particularly that very nice. And I think they've actually completed this kind of turnaround because if we looked at Aerojet last year, there's quite a lot of colors. I'll yeah. be happily say Aerojet looked cheap. Like the irons really did look cheap. There's still a little bit of that in there, I'll be honest. I think if you're comparing this, a really good example, and I know you're gonna agree with me here, comparing this to the Titus T350, there are still, uh, it's still a big way to go. It's yeah. a big difference yeah, in yeah, price yeah. as well. But I think for the younger audience, perhaps yeah. that Cobra are trying to market towards, I think it's a really cool step up to Aerojet. Looking down on it, what do, what do you think? It's obviously a game improvement iron. I'll get yeah. into the data in a second because there's, there's a reason why it looks the way it does. But what do you think? I mean, yeah, this is the kind of offset you'd expect from a game improvement, uh, game improvement iron. I actually do quite like the contrast between the yeah. heel toe and the middle. I think that works quite nicely. But yeah, I mean, it's everything you'd kind of expect from a game improvement iron. Looks pretty chunky, which will be nice. You can see all the loft. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's more this. And actually having what you've just said does yeah. make a lot of sense. I think the actual, like the muted color palette, it definitely does look more premium yeah. than older models that we've seen. Uh, this, this is just a personal thing for me. Before we do some on-course testing with the mid to high handicappers Johnny and Will, let's head over to Custom Golf Works and look at the data behind these Cobra Dark Speed irons. These irons are said to be long, hollow body construction, and extremely accurate with a larger power shell with AI designed HOT face, delivering more efficient speed and spin. Is that really the case though? Let's find out at Custom Golf Works. Okay guys, so here we have the Cobra Dark Speed irons, which are aimed at game improvement. They pack a hell of a punch and also offer plenty of forgiveness. So to trial them, we've got our in-house bandit, Will Woods here. Um, before we go into the data, Will, just your overall feeling having hit then a couple of shots of those. Yeah, I mean, as you, I mean, we're going to look at the data shortly, but I didn't feel as confident hitting those as I do with other game improvement irons. Okay. The sound, I mean, it sound, they sounded quite nice, but the overall feel in, in the hand, they do feel quite heavy in the head. I don't okay. know if that's just me. Yeah, yeah, um, so the swing weight's just a touch heavier for your life. Yeah, I, I feel like it's just a little bit heavier. So, I mean, these typically, I wouldn't usually use a set of game improvement irons. Uh, with other sets, I've uh, kind of said I'd maybe go for the kind of six, five, four iron, and I'd, I'd actually say the same for these. They pack a hell of a punch, and we're gonna look at the data here. So my backspin was kind of a touch on the low side, but actually my carry distances 
and total were really quite impressive. The gap might be slightly too big for me personally from a seven to a six iron, but overall for those looking to eke a bit more distance out of their game, who want a little bit um, extra muscle behind the ball, these could potentially be a really good fit. We'll have a look at your numbers here now. Um, backspin again, a touch on the low side. So, I mean, yeah, looking at data compared to yours, yeah. uh, as, we, as we are aware, I'm a very high handicap golfer. Yeah. Um, kind of just really getting into the game, but sure. I'm hoping these numbers will be a lot different come this time next year. Yeah. <laughs> That's my goal for 2024. But yeah, I mean... There's nothing there. stopping you getting from there to there in a year and a year and a half. No, I mean, give me a couple of months and I'll be there. Yeah, I reckon. absolutely. Yeah, that's, that's, my, that's my aim. But, but no, I think it's, it's difficult when looking at the numbers here. And I mean, as, as we've seen in that yeah. impressive display, I just didn't really feel confident hitting them compared to other game improvement irons that I have used before. I think to be, to be fair, the state your game is in right now, you could probably really benefit from a custom fitting. Yeah. So that might be the next step for you to Definitely. kind of like fine tune your game. Find out how we got on with this club on the course we're gonna head over to La Hacienda in Spain. Right, so we're about 190 yards out here on the first, and I have got a six iron, so we're gonna hit a couple of shots at the green and uh, see where they land. Okay, good luck, mate. Oh, go. That sounded lovely. That looks good. Has it got the legs? Nice. Oh, that was good. Can Kinda you bogey. just knock me another ball, will you? These feel powerful. Oh, good start. Good yeah, start. great start. All right, let's see if it's repeatable. Left, but Touch again, left. The strike was lovely. Yeah, it says about like pin we high. Earlier, yeah, yeah, a exactly. Little bump. Right. Yeah, I mean, so far the forgiveness on offer that like wasn't my best strike at all. Okay. And those ones that tend to kind of veer off left yep. do tend to go slightly harder. So okay. the fact that's just kind of what 10, 12 yards to the left is yeah, yeah it's I'll, pretty I'll good. Give that was a bit, left bit thin. But I mean, I mean, you. you would you take that? Yeah, I mean, from 190 yards out, yeah. that's not that's not the end of the world by any means. Not at all. And yeah, and that was that well, that's was Alex, that was be, uh, then you'd be running for the hills. I'd imagine. Straw. But that was that was not a good strike at all. That no. was um, not your not your best. Caught it caught it caught it thin. Oh no! A bit chunky. Very, very chunky. But is she rolling? She is rolling. That was horrible. Yeah, that was I not mean, very nice. That... But I mean, yeah, yeah, the first two, I would take. Okay. The other two, that's just a bad. That's just. And that how is did just you, user error rather than the club itself. General feel of all of them, even with the bad hits, how did you feel? I mean, the one out of the middle felt felt lovely. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're, they're slightly slightly firmer than like a forged forged iron, um, but that that's to be expected. What what I mean, the reason you'd use these clubs in particular is for the performance and the forgiveness that they offer. Um, and as we've seen from those from a few shots there, um, especially distance from 190 yards out, I would probably with the irons that I have in the bag, I would maybe be closer to hitting a four iron, or okay. definitely a five. I wouldn't take a six, but these really do pack a hell of a punch. Interesting. Okay, well. Over to you. Let's give it a go then, shall we? Nice. Okay, nice. Okay, well, so let's see how you get on with these bad boys. Okay, let's give it a go. Do these 28 handicappers proud? I really hope they do. Great shots, great strikes, it's drifting fady. right. A little bit fady. Well, yeah. very fady. <laughs> Swing it easy. When it's Slightly breezy. Oh no! <laughs> that wasn't. I can't say that was my best display of golfing ability. Um, I, I, I think that's probably a fair, fair assessment. So overall, though, look and feel. What are you, um, you think? No, they're very Batman superhero esque. Okay, yeah, I can see that. Yeah. That's what I'm getting from them. I do prefer the look of the. Oh, this is obviously nine, but I like the driver a lot in this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the, in the, the dark speed drive is very good driver, looking, I agree really cool. with you. But yeah, no, I uh, do like the look of them. I just can't get on with them as well as as well as well other game improvement irons that I've used before. Okay. So tell me, obviously wasn't my best display of ability there. Yeah. But. 20 handicapper isn't guaranteed to get it on the get it on the green from 190 yards every day, so. Yeah, okay. Uh, right, so for the full wrap up and our final thoughts on these clubs, we're gonna head over to the green. So these Cobra dark speed irons are, they're quite interesting actually. I agree. I mean, we were lucky enough to have William Ward, a token high handicap to step up to the plate, and he hits shots that a high handicap would hit. And this is the thing with game improvement lines, they can't solve pilot error. 
but from the testing that Johnny, Will and I have done, we've noticed that there are some different results for a different type of golfers. I actually noticed that a five handicap, they go bloody miles, like a 250 yards for a six iron, but that isn't really applicable for a game improvement iron to a sense. For a four iron, we would absolutely put one of these in the bag, yeah. correct? Yeah, yeah. yeah, I mean, from 190 yards out, as, as I was saying, I typically hit a four iron, uh, and one was on the green, two just off to the left, but pretty much pin high. Yeah. One of them was, was not a particularly good strike, but it still managed to maintain enough speed to get to the green, which is realistically, I'm a 13 handicapper, what you, what you need and what you want. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's funny because with the different types of golfers, what I've felt with this iron is that it's, it's certainly ticking the box for distance, but I think there are other game improvement irons in the market that are more directed towards forgiveness. Yeah. Now, with players distance, players forgiveness, things like that for high handicappers, yes, you want distance, but in my head, the main thing is forgiveness. You want to hit it straighter, yes further whatever but like you just want to be able to find the fairway I think there are other irons better for this facet of forgiveness what do you think yeah I, I, I'd be inclined to agree with you I was actually really surprised and quite happy with the results I saw from that yeah. but um, but as you said it, it is a very strong um, kind of bracket of irons so there's there's some tough competition but I, I, I actually think uh, if, especially if you're someone who struggles with distance if that's your main key area of concern, then these could potentially be a really good fix for that. Couldn't have said it better myself, but I welcome your guys' opinions in the comments of what you think about the new Cobra Dark Speed irons. Would I upgrade over the Aerojet? No. Would I upgrade over an iron two, three years ago? No, but you would see some improvements of irons, let's say six or seven years ago, which is the current life cycle of irons into 2024. Guys, let me know your thoughts down in the comments, and if you've enjoyed this video here at La Hacienda on the Heathen course on the first hole, leave a like down below. If you want to see more comparisons, things like that, Make sure you smash that big red subscribe button to keep up to date with all of Golf Magic's videos coming soon. Till the next video, guys. Catch you later. Let's go play some golf.